Okay, right now I'm going to show you how to do install a uh, rebuild kit for a micrometering valve assembly. Inside the kit we have six components. We have the replacement stem. We have a brass seat. We have a large stainless steel washer. We have a small stainless steel washer. And we have two small Teflon washers. This is a micrometering valve. You want to make sure that the valve is all the way opened. So you want to turn the knob counterclockwise. And you want to open it up all the way until it doesn't open anymore. So we reach that point. Now we need to remove the handle by removing the set screw. Now we need, we need to remove this large nut on the top. And you're going to need a couple wrenches. And that comes out like that. Set that aside for right now. We also need to remove the smaller bottom nut. And we want to remove the old brass seat. Looking back in at the top of the valve, we want to remove all the small components, the small stainless steel washer and the small Teflon washers. So you can either use a tweezers, a screwdriver, some other kind of tool. I'm using what we have here. And you want to come in from the opposite side and you just want to push. And all three of those washers come out. And now you're ready for uh, inserting the replacement items. Um, the first part you want to put in first is the small stainless steel washer. You can use the tweezers to make the assembly go a little more quicker for you here. You want to make sure that that stainless steel washer fits all the way inside that little little groove in there. Now you want it. Okay, with the stainless steel washer in there, we want to install the first small Teflon washer. And make sure that seats in there. And we want to install now the second Teflon washer. And we want to make sure that seat's in there also. Okay. Now we need to replace the stem. So we want to take the old stem out by rotating it clockwise. And that's going to take the large stainless steel washer out with it too. Okay, there's the old stem. We're going to remove and discard. Now the new stem, um, we want to put a little bit of anti-seize lubricant on these threads. There's some on here already, but we just use a general anti-seize grease, which is an acid brush, and you just want to go on the threads.
once you get a coating on the threads. Now you want to insert that into the stem nut by reversing the way we took out the original stem. So we want to go clockwise and as we're screwing in the, the new stem, we're also making a lubricant going through all the threads. It's important to make, all, make sure all those threads are covered with uh, anti-seize. So now we reached all the way in, now we want to go back out to make sure that grease is evenly distributed. Okay, we have an even distribution of grease, so now we can put it back in and we want to go all the way out with it, all the way, uh, all the way in. Okay, stems all the way in. Now we take the large stainless steel washer and it goes on there like that. And we take the body, the valve body, and we just screw on the stem nut. You want to go finger tight, and then you just want to get a wrench, and you just want to tighten it a little bit more. You don't want to go overly tight with that. On the bottom of the valve, the old brass seat that was in here, just discard. And we're going to get the new brass seat. This brass seat uh, has a large hole on the one side and a smaller hole on the other side. We want to make sure we put the larger hole as shown into the body like that. Take the bottom nut, we're going to go finger tight and again you want to take a wrench and you want to tighten that nut uh, a little bit, yeah, about probably about a quarter to a half a turn from where it is now. And that's complete, rebuild kit is uh, installed.